イベントはマナーを守ってこそ楽しめるものどこの世界でもそれは同じですね Thank you Pumpkin Night Idea <laughs> I think this is the last episode of October Right? I, I, I am looking at the calendar, right? Anyways, I got Idea in his Halloween costume from the Halloween event. <laughs> so, here he is! He's gonna be here for the final spooky episode of October. I don't know why I said it's a spooky episode. There's nothing spooky about this. Oh,、uh, but yeah, anyways, welcome back to Twisted Wonderland.、Um, why don't we jump right into this today?、Um, start off with some vignettes before we jump back into the main story. I'm excited to get going. We have seven vignettes, oh dear. What do we have? We've got Deuce, a Ruggy, um. Vil We're 100% doing the Ville one、um, because if we do it, I'm one step closer to groovying that card. Oh, you know we're doing Idea. <laughs> I think that that is、uh, the Pumpkin Night Halloween Idea.、Uh, Lilia. Okay.、Uh, yeah, let we're doing Idea. I don't have the Halloween、um, vignettes for the other Halloween cards I got. So, you know, we may randomly get a Halloween vignette in like <laughs> December. It's fine. Okay, am I OP or what? Oh! That's so cool looking! Well, my Pumpkin Knight costume is finally finished. <laughs> so cute! Talk about an extra hard quest though. It wasn't e easy judging both the Halloween events in my games and making this costume at the same time. Oh yeah, also, you know, I didn't do the Halloween event on, uh, Uh, on recording, you know, I didn't record it. I just did it off screen. So, you know, I just sort of remembered that, you know, some of you probably don't know what Pumpkin Night is. Basically, you learn in the Halloween event that it is this,、uh, I guess, villain from a horror movie that Idea likes. <laughs> And that's his costume. And spending so much time watching Creepy Hollow didn't help either. Creepy Hollow, that's the movie <laughs> that Pumpkin Night is from. After I told myself, I was only gonna check a couple scenes for reference. I should have known better than to think I could turn it off. Creepy Hollow is considered a horror masterpiece for a good reason. A series of strange occurrences strike a small, foggy town, and the villagers start turning up dead. The two detectives sent to unveil the truth must face off against the Pumpkin Knight. It doesn't use a lick of CG, instead, relying on advanced filming techniques for the special effects. Not only is the director clearly passionate about his vision, But the twist at the end, where the detective is bewitched by the cursed, by the cursed pumpkin and ends up becoming a pumpkin farmer is the best. <laughs> hey, spoilers! <laughs> He becomes a pumpkin farmer? That's what I call B grade horror, horror excellence. I understand now why it has such a cult following. That's why I decided to pay it maximum respect by crafting my costume entirely from scratch. I used urethane foam? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> For its lightness and durability. Since I'll be wearing this for, for this in the parade, I can't speak. <laughs> and I went with silicon for the ivy on the bottom to make it extra flexible. The fact that it looks super realistic is icing on the creep cake. <laughs> the creep cake. Okay, I want to make sure I avoid any major tragedies like it falling apart or not being able to move around in it. So, time to give the cursed pumpkin head a try. Tee <laughs> Let the test run commence. There are way too many people on the school grounds, but I think I know a place that should be deserted. Oh god. Please don't go there, and then someone's just there, like, um, what the hell? <laughs> oh! Woods behind campus. The elbows have enough mobility, and the joints are sturdy too. Yep, this is great. Am I OP or what? But I need to adjust the head just a tad. I wanted、uh, the inside to seem hollow, but because of that, it's hard to see. If I could mount a tiny camera on top of and get a video feed through an HMD. Uh. Uh oh. Ack! Is someone here? Ouch, what did I trip on? I really need to fix it so I can see around my feet better. <laughs> yeah, you don't have、uh, very big eye holes. Oh, Leona! Oh my god. Talk about Shu Sakamaki tripping over. Was he just like laying on the ground? <laughs> like sleeping and being lazy because that's Leona's thing? Because that, that has literally happened. That literally happened with Shu and Diabok lovers. You little punk, get off of me. I'm not a rug. Big, that sounds like Leona. S sorry, I didn't realize anyone was there. It's hard to see anything in this, so. 
It's <laughs> so awkward. Ow. Hey, what? Watch what you're doing, pumpkin dork. You're pulling my tail. I am. Oh no, I really need to take this pumpkin off. Crud, Leona's tail is stuck in the armor's ivy. Oh no. Who would have thought my commitment to detail would backfire like this? Oh, it's you. Way to cause some trouble as soon as you step outside for once. Do something about this already. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was a Dia because of the pumpkin. Uh, oh no, no, no. He sounds super mad. This went from the his hair got tucked in my clothes cute moment trope to the I got tangled up with a raging beast bad end way too fast. I'm obsessed with you. <laughs> God, no. This is our alley, Dia. Not one of your VNs. You're just like me for real. Oh, hold on a sec. I'll get out. I'll get it out. Except I actually don't think I can do that in my current position. My arms can't reach that far. It's awkward. Ah, no. The more I move my hand, the more tangled his, ta his tail gets. Uh, get your grimy hands off my tail. Uh, well, I think you can move more easily than I can. Maybe you should you could help me out a little here. Besides, what are you doing taking a nap in a place like this? I bet you're just skipping out on your dorm, du dorm duties. This was your fault by for blocking the path in the first place. Really, you're the one who should be po apologizing to me. You know I can hear you, right? <laughs> your text may have gotten smaller, but I can still hear you. What? <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I was joking. Uh, that's right. Beast men have really good hearing. Ugh, this is gonna take an eternity. You got any scissors on you? Oh god, you're just gonna cut your tail? It's, it's not- that's not how tails work, like there's literally- like that- well, that would still hurt them! Yeah, I brought some along just in case I needed to fix my cost- Whoa! Is Leona seriously about to cut his own fur? Oh, just- yeah, I guess if you just trimmed the fur, you could free him, I guess. You don't have to actually cut your tail off. I jumped the gun. Sheesh. I'll help you out just this once, got it? You gotta be kidding me. Only the super cool dudes in comics are smooth enough to pull off a move like that. Wait, that didn't sound like fur. Ah, you cut the ivy! I, <laughs> I worked so hard on that! He did not cut his tail. He cut the costume. You looked like you were struggling, so I helped you out. You're welcome. You're lucky you tripped over me. If it had been someone less nice, this might not have ended so peacefully for you. Anyway, that's what you get for wandering around wearing a ridiculous pumpkin head. See ya. <laughs> His face! What? He thinks the pumpkin knight is ridiculous? I don't believe it. How can someone fail to like a design that is obje that's this objectively cool? This is why I hate Savannah Claw students. They're just a bunch of hooligans. Honestly, I feel sorry for him if he can't understand just how awesome the knight is. I'll show him. I'm gonna make this the best costume at the parade. Then he'll have to admit that the Pumpkin Knight is the greatest, <laughs> greatest gourd man of all time. Of all. I love Idea. <laughs> I'm sorry for when I judged you in the very first episode, Idea, because you have just very quickly become my favorite. Let's go ahead and do, remember this, part two with Vil. Because then I can groovy this card, yeah! All oh, right. The first part is this, oh, this is when he met up with Jack. It seems they're not finished preparing for the assembly in the mirror chamber. Perhaps we came too early? Apparently, a bunch of bigwigs are coming to the school, which is why we all had to change into our robes and gather out here. Also, I've mentioned this before. I can't remember if it was in Twisted Wonderland or not. There's a school that is literally in my backyard. Like, there, there's my backyard, and then there's a fence, and then there's a school, and there's a man cutting grass back at the school and it is so loud and I really hope you can't hear it. <laughs> Apologies if you can, I can't control random man cutting grass. <laughs> yes, they they said house wardens are in particular needed to arrive early, but here I am waiting. I could have spent more time relaxing in the dorm lounge. Incidentally, why are you here so far ahead of time, Jack? You aren't a house warden and there are no regular students here. When I've got these robes on, it's like I can't sit still. This is only the second time you've worn them since orientation, after all. But you aren't a child anymore. You need to get used to wearing more formal clothes. Don't know if I can. 
My ears get in the way, so I can't wear my hood and... Please don't tell me this is all... all about the hood. Uh, yeah? I held my tongue at orientation because it had been so long since we'd seen each other, but come here. That's right, his, I remember now, his uniform was messed up, and then I, get, I think the other students of his dorm were also messed up, and then him and Rook were calling them spudlings, yeah. <laughs> I remember now. Uh, sure. Take off your belt. What? Why? Just do it, and be quick about it. You keep tugging at your hood, which is creating slack around your pectoral area. Your height and fetching build will naturally draw people's eyes there. You must pay extra attention to key areas, particularly everything from your chest up. Understand? Now give me that belt. R right Oh, cool! Just so you are aware, our school's ceremonial robes cannot be worn haphazardly. If beset by so much as a single wrinkle, formal wear will give an impression of shabbiness. Okay. Okay. Cross the front carefully and think about the placement of the belt. With your frame, the belt should be here. Two finger, two fingers length above your navel. Not any higher or lower, remember this. To be honest, you need to make your belt thinner to take, take this look to the next level. <laughs> Vil fashion icon. But these robes are u school uniforms, so I will leave the question of whether to alter them or not to you. As for the inner buttons, you must not open more than three. Lest you cross the line from cavalier to slovenly. <laughs> Dang, Jack, you got a lot wrong. Cavalier. And finally, you must ensure every part is in order. There. Good. Th thank you. Are you honestly incapable of putting on a set of robes by yourself? It's as if you haven't learned a thing since orientation. What has your house warden been teaching you? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Knowing Leona, he's out sleeping... On the uh, in the woods right now, so you got nothing to do with this. True. No matter who is at fault, the result is the same. Some advice from an old friend: these robes are the most formal of all the school's uniforms. Consider how your appearance reflects upon you. From the moment you put your arms through these sleeves, you represent the school as a whole to the public. Please try and conduct and dress yourself in a manner befitting Night Raven College's storied history. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, yeah. As your schoolmates and fellow countrymen, I urge you not to embarrass me, Jack. I'll be careful, I promise. I won't be a spudling. Can't say I understood half of what you said, but I know it's something real important to you. Huh. You really are an interesting one. In any case, this is your first and final warning. From now on, you must take care of it yourself. I will. Crowley! I've never had to do a Crowley voice! I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. You're just Mori. <laughs> Ma, you two are here early. We just finished our preparations for the ceremony. It is less that we are early and more that you are late, Head Mage. Jack, hold your head high for the guests who are coming today. Yeah, I will. Very good. Then let us be on our way. Fashion lessons with Vil. Woohoo! Let's let's do Lilia because. I, I, like I've said multiple times, I, I still don't know you very well at all. Uh, what part was a dream? He's another one that'll be like, whatever voice I'm, I do is not gonna be perfect because you're just Ayato. Oh! Would you look who's here? It's me, Trey. That's right, I'm still gonna do this voice and you can't stop me. So, our home- so our history homework is to write an essay, hmm? We'll need the research materials first. Uh, the library is ever so nice and toasty in the afternoon. I could almost take a nap here now. Now, now, Lilia. This is a team effort. Not much of a team if you're off in slumberland. I know, worry not. I'll pull my weight. This assignment is so simple that I could do it in my sleep. Truthfully, there's little point in conducting research here. Is history your, your best subject, then? You could say that, yes. I can more or less recall everything that's happened these past 500 years. Ah! Hmm. Are you 500 years old? <laughs> Look, I, I, Malleus and Lilia, I, I could be remembering wrong, but I think we don't know their age. So I'm just gonna like assume they're like 7 billion years old. You must be blessed with good fortune to have been paired with me. Well, I won't say that. Oh, I won't say no to that confidence. First things first, we need to settle on a topic for our essay. Here's the list we were given to choose from. 
The range of time periods and kingdoms is pretty huge, so it might be tough to narrow it down. Hmm. Why don't we browse the history section and decide from there? Good thinking. History is here, I believe. There's a surprising number of books on magic tools. The discovery and development of ma ma magic... Are they mage stones or mag 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 I don't know. Mage stones? Hmm. I just realized I never actually had to say it when it was like a relevant plot point in the main story. Here's wit for a twit. Magical pens. <laughs> Adorable. Haha, -ha, maybe we can pass that one on to Grim. Hey! That's my, other, that's my other half. No, oh, yeah. You're right, you're right. You could, you could use that. With how closely entwined tool development and history are, what do you think of writing about magic tools? I wouldn't be against it. They do tend to go in and out of fashion with the times, so I think it'll be an interesting subject to delve into. Did you know there was a point when people rushed to make magical pens as small as possible? Really? First, I haven't heard of that. That's no surprise to you. That would be uh, ancient history shrouded in myth. What? Eventually, the pens became so small that everyone began to lose them. That's when jumbo pens came into vogue. They were larger than me, even. That's pretty big. I mean, yeah, Lily is kind of small, but that's still huge. You really do know your history. And it's funny how you talk as if you were really there. Yeah, you, you are like 500 years old. Haha, <laughs> haha. Funny. Makes you think, though. If even magical pens change with the times, it really calls into question other things, like our core values. That's precisely what is so fascinating about it. Life is never boring if it's constantly changing. If anything, I'd love if there were more such upheavals. Though it's all, it all fades away in the end, leaving me to wonder what part, of, uh, what part was a dream and what was reality. Wow, what a weirdly melancholic thing to say. Not not the sort of sentiment you typically hear from a student. Oh, perhaps I'm wise beyond my years? If you've ever played uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, this is giving me major <laughs> Flane and her age energy. I never said that. By the way, what happened with the jumbo magical pens? They obviously changed to what we use now. No, it didn't take long for them to revert back to their normal size, having them be so big and heavy was very inconvenient. Yeah, if they're as bigger than you? That's so. how. The turning point happened at a banquet held to, cel to celebrate a princess's birthday. When the king attempted to lift his pen, he was overcome by its weight and slipped a disc. <laughs> You're probably not the best idea. That sounds painful, though trying to picture it, I can't help but laugh. Feel free to find it funny now, but back then it was very a very serious matter. They printed so many extra editions of the newspaper that they blanketed the city streets. <laughs> Dang. I'm impressed by your colorful imagination. Too bad we can't use any of it in our essay. He... <laughs> imagination, you say? Yeah, I was like, that's not his imagination. He, he, I'm sure he lived that. Haha. Uh -huh. Whenever I talk to you, I have the hardest time figuring out what's true and what isn't. You did make, make all that up, right? <laughs> the world may never know. He totally did not make all that up. All right, let's get back to the main story. Uh, I think we're supposed to be picking chestnuts or something. And there's a twist, twist tune, right? Yeah, twist tune. I got confused with the symbols for a minute there. Hey, you were just here with a dia. A garden spat. What was that? <laughs> that was quite the sound effect for a che um, chestnut spine pricking your paw. It sounded like you got, like, punched. すでで拾うのは無理そうだな。拾ったものを入れるカゴかバケツも欲しい。植物園の中にどっちもありそうじゃね。行ってみるか。うわあ、思ったより中広い。これだけ広いと管理してるやつがいるはずだな。手分けして探してみるか。じゃあ、右に行く。俺は左に。グリムと監督生はまっすぐ奥へ行ってみてくれ。ななこっち来てみろよ。なんかフルーツがたくさんな
Do not touch the fruit. Don't pick anything. Hello? Feels, feels like I just stepped as a... I swear to God, but is it Leona again? Oh my god! God, that is so funny that we just had that vignette with <laughs> Idea where he stepped on him. And then it just happened again. It almost happened in the same place too, like we were in the in the woods right before this. Oops, cut you off, Leona. I'm so sorry. What an herbivore. <laughs> what a are, are you smelling me? <laughs> I didn't know magic had a smell. ウテコの相手を痛めつけるのは気が進まないんだけどな。ウィオナ、what and he didn't have to pay the price. Uh, well, no, I guess he kind of did, because you cut his costume. But please, I don't have dental insurance. Hey. Hey. うるせえな、来た。レオナさん、ただでさえ<笑> I'm not an herbivore. <laughs> Get it right, Leona. Yeah, I don't think he's a groundskeeper. I got threatened. So Get my tart on. ってことがあったんだぞ。いや、絶対そいつ管理人じゃないっしょ。落ち着いて思い出してみれば、黄色いベストを着てたから、あいつサバナリオのやつなのだ。あ、the what dorm you got that so wrong! I don't even know how you to pronounce what you said! Sure seems like it. Yahaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Okay, okay. I always struggle with this one the most. I don't know why. It's like I will tap the screen at the right time, but it doesn't register. Oh my god, look at Grim. He's like juggling <laughs> the chestnuts. And he's doing his punch thing. Look, pre uh, Prevec, look, a Primo Perf Peel. Wow, Ace, you're a mark. <laughs> I mean, one of us has to, uh, has to ensure. Ah, hey, my peels are perfectly fine, thank you, see? Yeah, if you hold mine up next to Ace's, you couldn't even tell them apart. Oh, well, it's good you're also fired up because you still got a ways to go. I got tripped up on my words, and then my brain was like, Tell me like, hurry, hurry, you have to read, hurry. And I got so focused on that that I couldn't read. <laughs> Do you guys watch my Dandelion Let's Play? Do you remember that time Hee Jae gave Hee Jung chestnuts and then Hee Jung put them in a big salad bowl with a bunch of other weird stuff and it almost killed her animals? Yeah, fun times. I didn't do as good on that one. I don't feel. <laughs> Grim, what is that face? That was the last one, we're all done. Very nice, even the manual side managed to get through pretty quick. Yeah, I'm awesome. Well duh, any job's good as done if I'm on the case. All right, next comes the straining. Woo! There's more? <laughs> oh no! I did it. You only asked that time, not SS. Okay. Secret in the oysters. Ah, Again, I don't regret, regret uh, giving you the voice I gave you. First, your obsession with teeth brushing, now oyster sauce? Can we forgo that? We have a vote? We're trying to appease Riddle, not upset him. Maybe he was joking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, knowing you and your teeth obsession, I was willing to believe it. なんだよ。本気にしちゃってじゃん。ちょっと考えればありえないってわかるだろう。なんでも鵜呑みにせず疑って書かれってことだな。こいつ。優しそうに見えてさらった嘘をつくやつなんだぞ。次に生クリームを
Oh, to be continued. I did not expect that one to end there, of all places. Okay. Oh dear, a battle. Egg destroyers. Oh dear. What does egg destroyers mean? I thought it's not going to be a good thing. Oh, it's not going to be a good thing. It's not going to be a good thing. It's not going to be a good thing. It's not going to be今なら荷物運びにも使える注入株円盤百分の一サイズが三十パーセント。ワイングサーサーズ。結構です。行くぞ、グリム。ちょっと待って、グリムと、バイモンスター。またサンデカイル。オッケー、オッケー。それじゃ
when trying to figure this out. Okay, we're gonna go double green. Oh yeah, see, I uh, okay. I, I groovied the uh, Orto card. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I love the no noises he makes. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, I kicked this guy's ass. Yeah, we're real strong. Eat it. Uh-huh. That's right. Okay. Let's do one more. Oh boy, another twist tune. You better run and give us more eggs. Wait, the eggs. Deep breaths, Deuce. Deep breaths. Grim. だ。今度こそ絶対絶対言うとせんなろうと思ってたのに。え?いや、は?俺はミドルスクールの頃とにかく割れてて毎日喧嘩に明け暮れてた。You Huh。あ、I never would have expected that うん。だ、ウィチュアゲティングアイトンザラストワン。そんなわけねえのに。母さんは何にも悪くねえ。悪いのは全部俺だ。だから名門ナイトレイヴン彼氏から迎えの馬車が来た時。すげえ喜んで
This couldn't be any easier. Good to hear. Keep it up. You can't go wrong with future Archmage Grim on the case. Pride comes before a fall, you know. Eggs. Don't <laughs> become chicks. What is your malfunction, Deuce? I was just about to say, like, I only just now noticed that Deuce looked really sad. Oh. I messed up at the end there. That'll do it, Prefect. Uh, yum, looks amazing. Oh, once we stick the... Ma ma no, no, no. Ooh, me, 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 let me do it. You better not screw this up at the last uh, possible moment. Relax, I got this. Bam. Yay, Grim, you did it. One flawless chestnut tart, courtesy of Grim. Hip hip hooray. Okay. Let's try and fit one last one in here. I was gonna finish it because I'm not gonna lie, I'm really hungry. <laughs> I don't wanna go eat some food. But I I, I think we could fit one more. <laughs> Poor Deuce. Yes. Um, better let him work through this one himself. Thanks for no help, Cater. ま、<笑> Liked and subscribed. You better love this riddle. それ褒めてるのか。そうだ。ねえねえ、トレイ君、あれやってよ。The <laughs> pizza. Um, I'm a big chocolate gal. I like bread. ちいて言えばオムライスですかね。俺はラムニクのグリル、ディアボロソースかけ。それじゃあ行くぞ。ドゥドゥルスート。What? Does that mean? これ? <laughs> like that we said the same thing, Deuce. では、マロンタルトをもう一口どうぞ。What? うん。これはマロンタルトなのに Look, my my favorite food is pizza, but that doesn't mean I want my tart to taste like it. Oh, Oh, that's cool. That's why I said painting the roses. Dude, if you hated a food that's like really good for you, you can change the flavor of it to something that's good and eat it. Dude, this is Trey, this is a life-changing spell. Yeah. 
俺の魔法なんか寮長の魔法に比べれば子供のおもちゃみたいなものださあ今日はもう遅いタルトを寮長に渡すのは明日に Sorry, Ace, you gotta wear that for until tomorrow now. 明日は何でもない日のパーティーだ遅刻するなよ I'm not part of your dorm, but I'm probably gonna be there. また止めてくんない No! これ、意地悪な先輩に寮に入れてもらえないみたいだし、oh, I guess you have to then. トゲのある言い方。こら、エース。あまり監督生に甘えるのはよせ。そうだぞ。今日も止まるなら宿賃払え。ツナ缶十巻。And pizza! あじゃあ、農宿しろってのかよ。じゃあ、デュースもお目付け役として。監督生の寮へ止めてもらったらどうだ。副寮長の俺が外泊許可を出してやる。<笑>スリープオーバーパス。トレイ君ってば新人ちゃんに甘くない？いいな。ね、監督生ちゃん、俺も行っていい？お前はダメ。ちゃ、下げぽよ。サンドランペ。じゃあ監督生、うちのが二人も邪魔して悪い。I am a prefect, I suppose. It comes with a job. It's no problem. 明日は何でもない日のパーティー。絶対この首輪を取ってもらうからな。見てろよ、寮長。お、もう一度ゴーン。トレイ先輩、ケイト先輩。ああ、よかった。やっと帰ってきてくれた。どうかしたのか ?He was going on. ハートの女王の法律、第二百五十六条。夜八時過ぎに、蜂蜜入りのレモネードを飲んではならない。に違反した寮生十人がリドの寮長にまとめて首をはねられてしまって、僕もう嫌ですこんな生活。What if you want some sweetened lemonade after 8 p.m. Look, sometimes I just gotta go drink some chocolate milk at 11 p.m. Okay? If that's a rule, then I'd be breaking it all the time. わけわかんないルールでガンジガラメ。別の寮に転寮したい。<laughs> He's crying. Oh, d a i j o v a Orega l i o c h o n i Hanasio s t e r i o o m a t a c h a h e a n i m o d o t e r r i d d l you need to chill. Oreva Jo, Samana g o k i g e n t o r i n o Tamini, o c h a d e m o i r e t e k i m a s k a n e v a r i n a Kato, Soda, Cocha o Sakate, h a b u t i n i s t e r e Tasca, Dai h a k o j o Sanjo. Oh, my goodness, Yoruno o c h a n i t s i t e Kimera. I know. o k a Oh, what the is this thing again? What the heck? What is that? This is so creepy. What does that mean? Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm intrigued. I'm curious. I need answers. <laughs> okay, one last Halloween quote. t o r i k o Torito, the Yvari Tabi Tagashi, what does that mean? Torikum, Sasate, the o k o r i t a Thank you, Halloween Idea. Well, that is going to do it for today's episode of Twisted Wonderland. We've got some fun vignettes,、um, especially that one with Idea and Leona. <laughs> that was an interesting combination seeing them bounce off each other. And the thing at the end there, well, what was that? I'm so intrigued. I want to know. It was also interesting、uh, learning more about Deuce. I really did not expect him to be、uh, a delinquent in the past. He's just so a very honor student and proper. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!